What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Blaze back with another reaction video. Today we're going to react to the PlayStation 5 Pro technical preview. Um, I saw some, you know, memes about it, people trolling it online. You know, I just wanted to watch it for myself and, you know, react to it and then see how you guys feel about it. On that note, let's go ahead and dive on in and see what it looks like. All right. Well, here we go. Let's give it a look. I'm Mark Cerny. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our console lineup, PlayStation 5 Pro, and how it advances gaming technology. But first, I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and how it delivers an exceptional gaming experience. When PS5 debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. Eight Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high-speed complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. No, oh, yeah, we all like the 120 PS5 frames. Has a powerful RDNA 2 GPU, which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass, and the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. Mm -hmm. A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds and data streaming rates SSD. so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled sense of immersion to the sound of the games. With audio so real, you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Finally, the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is experiencing inside of the game. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about Fancy their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with, Ooh, graphics sure. modes. It can be a difficult choice for players. Hmm. Fidelity modes emphasize the visuals, typically through higher resolution rendering. These modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing. But the games only run at 30 frames per second. The visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive. Performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity, typically choosing to run 60 frames per second. Mainly by reducing the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. When asked to decide on the mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. Removing that decision, or at least narrowing that divide, is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to, at the high frame rates that players typically prefer. To do that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Here's what we call the big three. The big First, three. we made the GPU Remember much that. larger three. and increased the speed of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing mode, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of PlayStation 5. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, Whoa, man, or PSSR for short. <laughs> PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the games. Game creators are adding PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles, and with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing. The big three, with graphics remember that. showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but it doubled the frame rate. Here's The Last of Us Part Two running on PS5 Pro. It has huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. 
this goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's Spider-Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Another way to compare the two consoles is to look at PS5 Pro versus performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. As you've been seeing, the big machine three learning their value. via the PSSR Live. No, I, I, I mean, that's really all they have to offer for the PS5. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and see the price. I mean, I don't think I'd spend seven hundred dollars on uh, a new PlayStation Five Pro when technically, you know, they get the same frames. They just made the image just a little bit sharper on distant stuff and close up. I mean, I think it. You know, me personally, I probably wouldn't get the PS Five Pro. Uh, me personally, I don't have a PS Five. I kind of skipped that. You know, I got a PS Four, and that's about as far as I went up. I mean, you know, for the person that does, can't afford a PC and, you know, are diehard PlayStation fans, I mean, hey, this is just the next step to get closer to better visuals and better gameplay and better everything. So I guess, uh, you know, it's all you. I appreciate you sticking through to the end of the video. And, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below how you feel about the new PlayStation. And on that note, peace!